Are you here? Paul, I need your help. Matthew, where's Paul? Oh, boy. Dorian's on the warpath. I got her all wet at the country club, and she wants to have me arrested for assaulting a public official. He's at the station. So is Mom. Why are you so glum? Are you sick? Are you drunk? If you're drunk, I'll join you. I'm not drunk. Oh, boy, don't tell me you got dumped again. That would be a record. No, actually, I hold that record. You know, I got dumped by half the kick line at Radio City Music Hall in one night. Can you keep a secret? No, but I love secrets. All you gotta do is tell me once a day to keep my mouth shut. Better yet, I'll tell you what, I'll put it in my phone under my daily alarm. Don't tell anyone that Matthew... Got Nate and Danny killed? On some barn out on 23A, Todd Manning was involved, Star was there, and people got shot. Remember that guy I told you about? That guy that you ran into at the club? Yeah, that bull guy. He's dead now. And Danny and Nate were there, so I don't know if they got hurt, shot, killed. Okay, I don't okay. know what Easy, happened. easy. One thing at a time. I tell you what, I'll call and make sure that Danny's okay. <sighs> oh, this is all my fault. I know I shouldn't have told that guy about Nate. How am I ever going to make this right? So much gorgeous. I'll look you up next time I'm at the hospital. Okay, we're good. Danny's fine, so is Nate. Oh, thank God. Thank you for making that phone call. What, are you kidding? That's what brothers are for. Hey, Brian, this is uh, Matthew Buchanan. Is my dad there? What are you doing? Telling dad. What are you doing? Telling dad exactly what? That this is my fault. That you bought a gun, rounded up a bunch of people, and started shooting at them? Well, I set it in motion. No, what you did was tell someone the truth. And now that guy is dead. Yeah, that dead guy? Probably the work of Todd Manning. Look, the only reason I told him... The truth? ...was because I was jealous. Jealous? What are you talking about? Half this town is jealous of me. It doesn't make him guilty of murder. Look, Matthew, you did the right thing. Then why do I feel so bad? Because you're a nice guy and your girlfriend ex -girlfriend. was... Ex-girlfriend. Your ex-girlfriend was in danger, but she's not anymore. So no harm, no foul. No, I've got to tell my parents. I put a lot of people in danger just to try to get back at someone. All right, and that's not right. And Danny could have gotten hurt. That phone. No, give me. No, hey, hey, listen to me. You tried to warn them. You tried to warn Danny, but she blew you off. David, somebody died. I have to tell my parents. And break their hearts? What if you're right, Matthew? What if there's some itsy bitsy law that makes you guilty? Then what are you going to do? Your mom and pa are gonna have to arrest you, they're gonna have to prosecute you, and then throw you in prison. So you can feel better for a minute and a half? And believe me, once you're in prison, there's no feeling good about anything. I'm not gonna go to prison. So what's the point of saying a single thing? Look, little brother, man up. That's what I'm trying to do. In this particular instance, being a man means that you keep your mouth shut. No, that's the easy way out. That's not the easy way out. The easy way out is to confess and dump this entire thing in your parents' laps. What's that going to get you, huh? Is that going to bring this dead guy back to life? No. Is it going to bring Danny back to you? All it's going to do is ease your conscience a little bit. Is it worth it? W what do you mean, Mom? Anybody else know about this? That I told Bull Nate had his money? No. So only Bull and me know the truth. Bull's dead, and I'm your brother. Your secret's safe. I can't ask you to lie for me. Who's lying? I'm just not volunteering. There is a difference. Look, Matthew, trust me. This is the right thing to do for everybody. All you have to do is... Who knows? You just might be able to make it up to him someday. To Nate and Danny? How? Well... If they never find out that you're the one who sandbagged Nate, you get to still be friends with them. And then if they're ever in trouble, or if they need something, you can uh, help them out, secretly. You know, do a few good deeds down the road. Like a secret Santa or something? Exactamundo. So do we have a deal, huh?